Hey everyone, it's Johnny, your independent Zensi consultant. Welcome back to my channel. And today we have a Walmart wax haul for you. And hopefully the camera angle is a little bit better. I'm still playing around with it because I am not a videographer. I'm a musician and a fragrance fiend, but not necessarily a camera person. So hopefully this will be a little bit a better angleage and all that. Let me know in the comments below. It's a work in progress. What can I say? So back to the point of this video, I stopped at Walmart because I was craving, um, well, I wasn't craving wax. I was actually looking for some kitchen supplies and, you know, everyday household goods. And, you know, when you go to a big store, you think, well, maybe I'll go look in the candle aisle. Terrible decision. So um, there are a few things here I actually found that I wanted to talk about. Um, I found one of the new Pioneer Woman um, wax melts containers, so we'll talk a little bit about this and sniff through it. I found a few of the, uh, whatever brand this is, um, not Rimport's brand, I don't think, uh, wax that's like seasonal holiday inspired, Halloween inspired. And then I found like basically in an end cap in one of those like big bins, the entirety of the uh, Sensationals um, Dia de los Muertes uh, wax cube collection. I think there's like 15 different ones, um, which I was shocked to find. There weren't very many of them, so it leads me to believe that maybe they were like customer returns or they only got a very small supply because there was only a select number. But we're going to go through those. We're going to sniff them. We'll talk about them. And... Let's just dive right in. So let's start with the, the few non Dia de los Muertes uh, wax scents. So let's start with the Pioneer Woman. Um, she, I don't know much about the brand. I'm not particularly like um, up on what the Pioneer Woman is or what it's all about, but uh, they do have some wax warmers um, that are out there that are pretty cool that are timer based now, but they also have just recently created a wax melts collection. I believe there's going to be, don't quote me on this, like about 14 different scents. This one is Honeysuckle and Hydrangea. They all come in these little tins. Um, this is 10 pieces of wax, 2.47 ounces, and I believe this cost me $4.67. So um, to give you like a reference point um, for Walmart waxes, $4.67 for about 2.47 seven whatever ounces of wax versus two dollars for two and a half ounces of like the traditional Walmart wax. So it's a little bit more than double the price and just slightly less wax. It's it's about the same. It's like negligible. This is like 70 grams versus 70.9 grams apparently. But just so you keep that aware, you're probably paying for the packaging because it does come in this metal or aluminum or whatever it is, tin that you can probably keep and reuse. Um, and the wax melts, as you look at these, they, um, let's see if I can bring it closer to the camera. They actually come uh, like little florets or whatever, um, and they're layered within like little, um, whatever these are, plastic wafery things. Um, so you do get 10 of these little, little ones. Um, so keep that in mind like this, also compared to like a cube, but granted you also get 10. So I would say like 1.75 of these little flowers would be like one of these cubes, if you will. I don't know. I don't know exactly the con conversion there, but anyways, let's talk about how these smell. Honeysuckle and hydrangea. This is supposed to have scent notes of honeysuckle, hydrangea, rose, poppy, and gardenia. And it does say it on the side of the tin. And this is like a floral, floral adventure. Um, I don't know if honeysuckle, I do get honeysuckle now. Um, you do get the honeysuckle, you do get like a floral note. The rose definitely stands out to me. Rose is a very strong scent though. It kind of stands out in a lot of floral scents. I do get like that gardenia back end note that kind of gives that little weird kind of soapiness that gardenia does or powdery. Um, it's not bad. It is definitely a floral scent. It's more of a, like a potpourri floral more than it is like a fresh floral. You do have like the fresh um, honeysuckle 
but the rest of the notes kind of lend it to more of a perfumey, potpourri sort of scent. It does smell like it's going to be a strong performer, so that's good. I will definitely have to report back on that in one of my fragrance feedbacks. Um, yeah, I'm not mad about it. Um, I wouldn't say it's like my favorite scent. I wouldn't necessarily go out of my way to like hunt this one down again personally, but you never know when you warm these. Um, this happened to be the only scent that they had in stock at my local Walmart, um, but I'm sure that they will start stocking more of these. There's like a whole empty section that was like for pioneer women's women, women, woman stuff um, that is probably going to be set out in the next coming week or two. Um, but just my initial impressions are the cost relative to the com competition at Walmart seems like you're paying for the packaging more than you're paying for the actual wax. And for me, while I do appreciate, um, you know, nice tins as, you know, decorative tins that you could repurpose, I also don't necessarily need to spend $2.50 more just for the packaging. I would rather have a little bit more wax. Um, like prime example, Scentsy Wax uh, is like, I think it's 3.2 ounces. And it is a little bit more expensive than what you'll find at Walmart unless you're comparing it to maybe like Yankee Candle or uh, Woodwick there. But at the same time, it's more wax. So I don't feel quite as bad. Whereas like this, it's like, I'm paying clearly for the metal tin. So don't know how I feel about that, but it is really cool. And I could see these being great if you want to like give it as a gift for like even the holidays because you don't have to really like jazz up a plastic clamshell. All right, enough about that. Let's talk about these four scents. So we have Caramel Apple, Cozy Bonfire, Jack Lantern, which I'm guessing is a pumpkin sort of scent, and Pumpkin Spice. So these are um, from the Walmart Stores Incorporated, uh, Bentonville, Arkansas, or Arizona. No, that's Arkansas, AR. Um, I, no, Arkansas is AK, isn't it? What is AR? Well, it doesn't matter. Anyways, at the moment, these ones are a little bit more expensive than the traditional Sensationals, Better Homes and Gardens ones. They are $244 a clamshell rather than $2 a clamshell. So again, a little bit more. These are still just two and a half ounces. Um, but I guess these are maybe a limited time offering. I didn't find very many of these. There's like one of each of these. Um, but let's kind of go through these and just kind of smell them. So first we have caramel apple, um, deep red wax. And honestly, this smells basically like any sort of caramel apple scent. Scentsy's Caramel Apple Craze, um, Caramel Apple, whatever it is. I think it's just called Caramel Apple from Sensationals, I want to say. I always get Sensationals and Better Homes and Gardens confused, them, but they have another like Caramel Apple sort of scent. Very similar to this. Um, there was a Halloween-esque fall scent as well last year that was Caramel Apple. It's it's caramel and apples, fresh, juicy apples, and like that caramel, so it kind of makes the candied apple sort of vibe. Um, no negatives to complain about it, it's just that it's a very simple caramel apple scent. Next, we have pumpkin spice. This one, oh, I got like this weird, like, meat tenderizer spice vibe from this when I first sniffed it. Or like savory bouillon. It also kind of gives me on cold like this weird like lunch meat vibe, which is really bizarre to me. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Um, I think it's the mix of the the clove and cinnamon in here is it a in an interesting combination. There's definitely like a nutmeg note as well. Yeah, this is very um, spice heavy to the point where the pumpkin almost doesn't really smell like pumpkin to me on cold. There's also like a weird... How do I describe it? It smells like, like the weird deli section. I don't know how else to describe this, but you know, like when you go to like the prepackaged, like 
processed meats, Lunchables section. There's like that refrigerated food vibe. It's it's not like a distinct scent, but there's kind of like a weird sillage, if you will, of being there. I get a little bit of that somewhere in here too, which is a little weird. There's a little bit more pumpkin there. Okay. Maybe it was just like the plastic. Maybe the plastic was doing some weird things to it. But it's a, it's, it's a very spicy pumpkin spice. Um, more on the spice notes than the pumpkin. I have realized that I'm not a huge like pumpkin fanatic. So this is probably not going to be scent I'm going to be wild about. But we'll warm it anyway. Next we have jack-o'-lantern. This is, who knows, probably pumpkins and candles. I don't know. Oh, interesting. It's like, I'm almost getting like a little bit of a citrus note to this. Like an orange citrusy vibe. Maybe there's pumpkin and orange citrus in here. I'm confused. There is definitely a citrus note to this. So it's maybe like pumpkin and citrus. Or maybe pumpkin and ginger. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's ginger, not citrus. Because <sighs> I've smelled something. This kind of reminds me a little bit, like very vaguely of um, Scentsy's scent of the month for September Scary Good. It's not quite as butterscotch, uh, there's like no butterscotch in this, but it's that like sort of ginger, pumpkin, spice sort of vibe going on. It's not bad. I actually prefer this one to the Scentsy one. Um, it doesn't seem as spicy, uh, but it's similar, similar vein of that. It's like a pumpkin-y, spicy, ginger and or citrus notes in here. At least that's what my schnoz is giving me right now. And lastly, we have Cozy Bonfire. This one is a very like semi-smoky, woodsy, what you'd expect a bonfire to kind of smell like. <sighs> yeah, very smoke heavy. It kind of reminds me a little of Birchwood Bonfire. Um, from Better Homes and Gardens. It's a little, it's on the similar vein to that. Maybe this is a little bit more smoky. It gives me a little bit of like Scentsy's Around the Campfire vibes, but maybe not quite has of the sweetest, sweet tinge that our uh, Around the Campfire has. Yeah, this is more just like straight up smokiness. So it's it's nice if you like the the sort of bonfire smoky vibe notes you'll probably enjoy this one all right and then let's talk a little bit about the dia de los muertes um waxes which seem to be like the mystical unicorn that some people can find some people don't ever find you know there are some i think on walmart on dot com online right now like a five pack but it's not all the different ones it's only like five of these um and I will say I sniffed through a couple of them in the store just to get an idea of what they might smell like. And some of these are dupes for current existing um, scents from Sensational. So what do I mean there is like some of them are either exactly the same formula but just repackaged for this collection or they might be very slightly different. So let's kind of go through them um, and see what we've got going on here. So first off, we have El Alabrije, which is a fantasy creature. And this is a blue wax. And this is, this is a, if it's not exactly the same thing, it is a very close dupe for, um, what is it? Sensational's Illusion. It's like, I'm, I'm not convinced that this isn't just Sensational's Illusion with a different label. Um, pretty sure it is. You get like a cedar wood note. It's very cologne, masculine vibes. Beautiful scent. I love, I love Sensational's Illusion. It's a great masculine scent. Um, but this is basically that. So if you're trying to hunt this scent down, go pick up a bar of Illusion from the, the Sensational's line. It's 
it is the same thing. I'm, I'm not convinced that it's not. Uh, next we have, let's see what we have here. Mariachi, mariachi band. And this one is like a deep bluish purple. And <sighs> this is another dupe. <sighs> yes, this is, this is again, uh, if you pick up a bar of Celestial, I think that's what it's called from Sensationals. I think it's actually the same color wax too. <laughs> Yeah, this is, this is basically another cologne semi-masculine scent. I um, wish I had scent notes for some of these. This has a little bit more of an effervescence to it um, and a slight sweet tinge to it. Um, a little soapy, too, compared to Illusion, which is more woodsy. This is all... Yeah, it's a little bit more soapy on the cologne vibe. Almost gives, like, a sort of... Not quite body wash vibe, but anyways, I'm pretty sure if if I had put them side by side, this is also a, an exact dupe, if not the same thing as Celestial, but just repackaged with a mariachi band in front. So, another similar scent right there. <laughs> All right, next we have La Catrina, Lady of the Dead. This is a purple wax. Hmm. Okay, so this one, this one kind of gives me like the shampoo body wash vibes. I've smelled this before. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Magic Spell, which is a Sensationals one, which is I think another sort of purpley wax. But there's a more recent one that I remember smelling that this smells like, but it's that like, I don't know, shampoo, body wash, herbal essence -y kind of like sweet um, vibe. Same sort of thing here. I would say like just off the top of my head, not having other references, if it's, it's similar to Magic Spell and scents like that, um, but I wouldn't say it's like a new unique scent per se. All right, let's see what comes next. What comes next? That's that's good English. Dia de Muertos. This is Day of the Dead. This is a blue wax. And this is another cologne vibe sort of scent. There might be bergamot in this one. It's like a... This is another masculine... I can't do this. This is like woodsy sort of scent. There might be like a cedar in here as well. Definitely like a bergamot aquatic vibe. This one is less woodsy and just more like cologne. Um, I know this is really not a good descriptor. There is a zesty sort of um, freshness to this one and a little bit of an aquatic note that is not in the other ones like the um, the, the Illusion dupe and the Celestial dupe. It's a deeper masculine scent, uh, deeper cologne rather than a lighter like super citrusy cologne. But there is definitely like a bergamot note in here because you get that like limey sort of citrusy vibe, but it's not like the main component to this. This is really good. I like this one. I feel like it's similar. No, this is definitely like illusion. This one is. I don't know if I smelled this one. I think this one might be a little bit more unique relative to what I have smelled so far. All right, um, let's move on. Next we have a love. La Ofrenda, which is the offering. This is a like pinkish sort of wax. Oh, mm, this is like a fruity, 
fruity, tropical sort of scent. I get watermelon. Oh yeah, watermelon. Hey, there's watermelon on the picture here. So I guess if we go by the picture, there should be like watermelon, um, looks like guava, coconut, lime, maybe dragon fruit, and orange, and grapes. It's definitely a beachy sort of vibe. There's um, a similar colored wax that was like tropical, like papaya, guava, or something like that. I don't remember the name of it. There's so many waxes sometimes. I just, they all kind of blend together. But I smell these similar uh, dupe to this before in like the summer scents that they release. But you definitely get the watermelon. You definitely get like that sort of papaya or guava. I always mix those two up. It's probably guava. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you do get a little bit of a coconut note to this, but it's, it's not like the forerunner. Um, there's probably a little bit of a citrus note in here, like either the, like the purported maybe lime or like a, an orange. It's very tropical. It's very like summery, tropical, fruity. Um, it's nice. I don't know that I would, it would be like one that I would write home about, like I'm particular in my fruit scents, but it is definitely a fruity scent. All right, next we have Mariposa Monarca, which is Monarch but Butterfly, uh, light orange wax. And this, hold up. If you've tried the scent from Scentsy, Born to Shine, which is like like citrus, nectarine, blossom, and like cashmere. This is very similar to that. It's not the same. The The Scentsy one has more of that cozy cashmere note to it. But it's very similar, like that warm, like nectarine blossom, um, slight like dewy, sunshiny citrus note. This is also shares some similarities to Walking on Sunshine, I think it's called, um, from Better Homes and Gardens. It's not the same. This is closer to, like, Scentsy's Born to Shine scent. Because there is kind of a cozy quality to this. But it's like that golden warmth, um, like, slight floral citrus sort of vibes. And there's like a little bit of a dewy note to this. It's nice, it's nice. I really like this one. Um, it's kind of making me want to go and get a bar of Born to Shine and put it in my Scentsy Club again, but kind of similar vibes there. So if you can't find this, the next closest would probably be Born to Shine from Scentsy. All right, next we have Pastel de Tres Leches, which is three milk cake. Oh, and this does, this does smell like a Tres Leches cake. Um, it is a little drier though. Yeah. You do get like that bready, flowery sort of note. You do get a very milky vanilla sort of vibe to this. It's definitely like a baked vanilla cake sort of vibe. You do get like a creaminess to this or a milkiness to this as opposed to just straight up like a bakery cupcake. But uh, if you've smelled um, Mainstay's Vanilla Cupcake, that's very similar to this scent. Like it's very similar. Um, if you smelled Scentsy's, uh, not graduation, what is it? birthday wishes or something that's from the moment by moment collection it's similar to that it's like that more vanilla but vanilla cake so it's not like happy birthday where it's confetti cake it's more of that like birthday wishes or whatever it's called yeah but it's it's that or it's vanilla cupcake from mainstays so i have a feeling when enjoy this scent um that is pastel de tres leches Next we have 
Celebración Doce, which is sweet celebration. Oh no, <laughs> no, no. This is like that papaya guava thing too. This is very tropical. Oh, what was I warming that? This is this is a dupe for another one of their like tropical scents for the summer that I don't like. <laughs> oh, I know this one too. Uh, grumble, grumble, grumble. I have warmed this before. This is somewhere. It's not Coral Shores. Is it Coral Shores? Could it be? No, I was gonna say it was similar to like their Coral Shores scent, which is also I think an orange wax, which it, it could be if I'm remembering it correctly. But it has a little bit of that like, <sighs> this is like a fancy shampoo meets citrus and like papaya or something. Or guava, it's gotta be guava because I usually it's the guava scents that I think throw me off. But it's like that really tropical fruity, but also like shampoo sort of quality. Yeah, that's what I'm getting from this. Oh, that's so weird. This is totally like... <sighs> yeah, that that's like that same sort of like fruity shampoo sort of scent. Ah, uh, mm, not, not particularly a fan of that one, but hey. Sure, there's someone out there who really enjoys it. All right, next one is Recuerdos de Familia. This is Family Memories. Light brownish wax, kind of looks like Cuddle Up. It does not smell like Cuddle Up at all. Ooh, I know what this smells like. This. Ooh. There's like a musty, stale. I hate to, I don't want to say like old people quality, but you know what this reminds me of? There's a scent, uh, it's not Welcome Home, is it? <sighs> Maybe it is. No, that's a Scentsy scent. There's a home, a home sort of scent that I think I reviewed in one of my previous fragrance feedbacks. And it's like ready for the in-laws or something like that. It's a, it's a <sighs> sensational scent. It smells just like this. Happy home? Maybe it's happy home. And it has like that weird, like musty, slightly woodsy, lemony, very powdery note to it. There's a lot of baby powder in this. Oh, this is like a mature newborn nursery. <laughs> it's like the best way I can describe it. It's like baby powder, lemon, Thunder in Southern California. What? I'm here for it though. Did you guys hear that on camera? That was crazy. Um, anyways, this smells like powder, big baby powder and must, musk and like a mature household, if you will. And it kind of smells like that happy home sound. I think that's the one I'm thinking of that has that weird sort of like, I've heard comments saying it smells like a grandparents' house, or it smells like a, but not in the good way, or it smells like a nursing home or something like un unfortunate vibes sort of scent. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this one. Not not particularly a vibe. All right, let's move on, shall we? Next we have Corona de Flores, a flower crown, pink wax. And this, I, what, I'm just gonna like summarize this as this is a fresh cut florals. Like you went into a flower shop and you smell the florals. It's like, yeah, undeniable. It's definitely fresh. It's not a powdered, it's not a perfume floral. It is like fresh stems cut in, in a vase. Like if you walked into a flower shop. Yeah, and I actually enjoy this. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Scentsy's um, flower shop scent. For those of you who remember it. Yeah, that's really good. It's just, it's fresh, fresh flower shop florals. I like that one. Okay. Next we have Los Conchas, 
or I'm sorry, Las Conchas, which is Mexican sweet bread. Another light pink wax. Oh, it's broken. Oh, yes, it does definitely smell like this. So Mexican sweet bread is kind of like dry because it, I guess it works well with like, um, like Mexican hot chocolate or coffee. Yeah, oh God, it's like that dry pastry scent. They nailed this one. It definitely is accurate to the, the, the item. Oh, you get like the dryness of like the flower note. Um, you get like the sweetness, the almost cloying sugary sweetness on here. It's, it's literally, it's very accurate. It is, it is Mexican sweet bread, but in wax form. Wow, that is, that is scarily accurate. Ooh, whew. it's one of those ones where you're like, oh, this smells really nice and sweet. And then you would bite it and you're like, whoa, it's so dry. It needs, needs like something, but they, they got that scent right. I'll give them that. All right. Next we have, oh goodness. I'm going to butcher it. Sempasuchil, Sempasuchil. Oh my goodness. I, why, why would you do that to me? Marigold flowers. I'm just going to go with that. I, I was doing all right until we got to this one. All right, this one is like a, it's a citrusy floral, like that, this kind of reminds me of Walking on Sunshine, but there's also a little bit more of a cloying orange note. There's like a, not a cloying orange note, it's just like a, a little bit more biting, and I feel like there's a little bit of a musty note to this. But there is floral underneath it. It's like a golden citrus floral. Um, this would be like if you took like a fresh cut floral scent and mixed it with Walking on Sunshine, which is kind of like that golden dewy, there might be an amber note in there. There's also like a warm sort of citrus sort of vibe to this. I don't mind it, but I don't necessarily love it. And if this performs anything like Walking on Sunshine did, which was for me a very, very soft performer, it will be very forgettable. But it is, it is like a, I mean, golden floral. All right, next we have galletas de calavera, which are sugar skull cookies. Ooh, that is, that is something. That is. Ooh. It's like, if you took milk and cookies or whatever, cookies for Santa, and stripped out like the, the cinnamony, like more, snickerdoodle vibes from there and went straight up sugar. Oh, it's almost quaint. It's almost like frosting. This is, oh, I feel like it's on my nose. That is really, really sweet. Like cloyingly almost, like this is almost like a happy birthday from Sensi on on like steroids, but it's like so sweet. Oh yeah, that that's um, not a vibe for me, but it's very strongly bakery and extremely sweet. So if you do find this one, know that you better really like sweet sugary scents because that is like the epitome of it. <clears throat> Next we have Calavera de Azúcar, which is sugar skull. And this one reminds me of something. This kind of reminds me of um, sugar from Scentsy. Cause you get a lemony note and you get a sweet note. It kind of gives me cotton candy cloud vibes from Sensationals as well. Although it's not as um, 
playing, it's a little bit more of like a berry note to it. Like berry sweetness. Yeah, this kind of reminds me of, and there's like a lemony quality to this. This kind of reminds me of sugar from Scentsy. Or even, not quite pink haze, but somewhere in between those two scents. I kind of like this one. Yeah, I'll have to see how that warms. I should at some point look and see if I can find scent notes for these. And the last one I have is La Luna, the moon. This is a dark wax. And this is a dupe of an old Sensationals fragrance, which I do not remember the name of, but was also a dark black wax. But I've smelled this before. Um... I do not remember for the life of me what which what the name of this wax was, but this is a dupe of something they used to have. 100%. Because I remember warming it, and I was like, wow, look at how dark the wax is. And it is a very nice, very deep, heavy cologne sort of scent. Yeah, there's got to be a leather note in here, too or a suede note, but this is a deep, manly, cologne -y sort of scent. So if you like masculine scents, you'll probably love this one. But it's like a richer, like maybe pepperier, deep sort of cologne scent as opposed to like a lighter effervescent one. And that is La Luna. And I think that brings us to the end of all of these waxes. So. Anyways, if you've tried these or found these at your local Walmart or online, let me know if you've tried them, if you've smelled them, what you think of any of them, if you have a favorite. Um, like I said, from what I gather, these are kind of like unicorn scents in terms of trying to find them at a given Walmart. So you may luck out or you may not find them at all. I know last year or the year before, I don't remember, I haven't seen them ever in the stores and these ones, they weren't on the normal shelves where like they normally put their waxes. They were literally in like one of those giant tubs at the end of a an aisle. And I was just like digging through to see what was there. And I was like, oh, look at these. Strange that they were here. And there weren't very many of them either. So just to keep that in mind, this was maybe just a luck of the draw rather than, ooh, they're coming everywhere. So anyways, Hope you enjoy this video. Hope this was informative. If you're near here, do here, consider subscribing, and I will see you guys in our next video. Take care. Bye.